Hey YouTube, Hannikin here with another episode of Geek K. Uh, so today we're going to have another unboxing. Um, I've got a Marvel Collector Core for you guys. Uh, and very excited about this one. It's not going to be a blind box unfortunately because with these Marvel Collector's Cores, as soon as like the first person gets it, the internet's flooded with this stuff. It's everywhere. You cannot go anywhere online without seeing it post it somewhere for, for resale as separate items. So you automatically kind of just see something that looks interesting and oh, hey, guess what? That's what was in the box. So I already know what's in here for the most part as far as some of the items. So the surprise is a little bit ruined for me in that regard. So I don't, uh, I'm not going to blind unbox it. But with that said, there's the box. It is the Deadpool box. Let's break into this bad boy and see what we got, shall we? So, in traditional fashion, uh, and as always, I will post pictures afterwards. We have a pin and a patch. So these are new, I have not seen these yet. Um, posted. So I don't know if you can see that. That is the pin and I would post a, another or a photo afterwards. I'm trying to get it in focus but it won't. And we have a patch. Plastic here so you better look at it. This is the patch. So that is actually really cool. I like this patch. Um, the way this turned out with the shading and whatnot for his face. Uh, now again, I'll post pictures afterwards. So we have a pin and a patch. So let's break into the box and see what the real goodies and the real part of this box is, shall we? So they actually packed this thing properly, hiding all the content under the big items here. First up, we have a shirt. Now, I know uh, already based off of, or what the design is going to be based off seeing these online, and I also know that there's several variants of this. So, uh, here is the shirt. It is a little picture of pull with two swords there, and it's kind of like a, a tarot card or something. I'm not sure exactly in the design. Um, but these come in different colors, so you can get different colored uh, suits of Deadpool. And I got the yellow one, so not the traditional one. I think I'd rather have the red one, uh, but the yellow one's kind of interesting because you don't really see it that much, but it's not really, um, if it didn't say Deadpool, you wouldn't know that that was Deadpool if you're not a huge Deadpool fan. So I would prefer to have had the red, but I still like the yellow and the blue. That is actually a really cool color. Uh, and that is actually the colors they put in, uh, in the Loot Crate, or sorry, sorry, the Amazon exclusive uh, pop version. But all in all, it's a, it's a good shirt. I would have preferred something maybe a little bit more pop stylish instead of just bland uh, Deadpool shirt like uh, some of the other ones are, or have sayings and everything. And I wore my, I wore my, uh, my uh, Geek Fuel uh, Deadpool shirt for this video. You know, fun sayings. That's what Deadpool's all about. This just has a picture of him, which is okay. It's a cool picture, it's cool rendering, everything, I like it. But it doesn't convey Deadpool to me because it doesn't have some sort of quirky saying. Uh, I, I like shirts for that. Or I would have liked to see something like that. Uh, so, and then in traditional fashion, we have a comic book. So, I'm not sure which comic this is, but it's a first edition and it's a variant edition. Obviously, it's Deadpool on a mountain of chimichangas. And I'll have to uh, look into which one this is. Maybe it's the first issue of the Deadpool series. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't recognize which one this is off the top of my head. I'll have to look into that one a little more in the back here. So next up, we have 
Oh, I didn't actually see this in the online. Uh, well, I did, or I didn't know this was an, I don't think this is an exclusive. I think they just threw it in for another figure or another item. And it is one of the Deadpool mobs. And I got a black one. Not sure if they all were black, but I have the black mode. There are several colors of these. For those of you who don't know. Uh, so we'll save the big item for the last. Uh, so in a traditional fashion here, we're getting a Dorbs figure. Not really a fan. I don't really collect the Dorbs. But this is the Cowboy. And this is the first Cowboy I have because the Cowboy edition for the Funko Pop is not out yet. Uh, it's the Cowboy version of the Dorbs figure. Which is cool. That's a that's you know not a bad figure. It's okay. I just not not a fan of the Dorb's simplicity of them and whatnot. Um, but you know it's a cool figure, I guess. And lastly, we have the one that I really 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 love. It is Leaping Deadpool. So this is a. Uh, I think Iron Man's the only one other than this one that is actually a weird pose that I've seen out of all the pop figures. This is the first dynamic one that I've ever seen. Uh, I guess the flag Superman one too, where it's kind of like perched. But this isn't, uh, this is a Marvel one, so obviously it's a Marvel one. So this is my favorite Deadpool pop to date. Ooh, I don't like the way he's like held in this, but whatever. It's not very secure. All right. So I will post some pictures, obviously, but you can see he has the two swords and he's in a dynamic perching, kind of jumping pose there. That is actually pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Um, paint job is, yeah, it's bearable. It's not too bad. Um, it's kind of blurry. Like, the lines aren't very crisp. Looks good. It's a weird way to put, to orientate the head for the way the bobble works. It goes at an angle, kind of like, like this, instead of like straight in the center. almost like bent sideways and as with all the Deadpool figures and the fact that they're bobbleheads they're always like cocked to the side I don't know why you know the figure head doesn't like look at you I don't know why he's like looking off to the side always but I digress okay so that is everything in the Deadpool crate it's one thing I've come to realize about the Funko crates is there's it's the excitement with opening the opening them is gets ruined because of the fact that these are sort of online and whatnot because you know what you're expecting you know there's a shirt you know there's a figure you know there's you know maybe a dorms maybe a home edition mug or whatever these things um, maybe you know you hope uh, always a pin always a patch you hope there might be something else. Um, like the mopes was kind of a throw in and I, yeah, I don't really collect mopes, but you know, cool on them to throw something extra in. Uh, outside of the norm, you know there's a comic book, you know exactly what you're going to get, you just don't know in what context it's going to be presented or in what the artistic rendering is going to look like necessarily. But like I said, they get spoiled online, so... Um, I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I'm not putting this down. This is awesome. obviously an awesome box. I love Deadpool. I loved everything I got. I, I give this the highest ratings. Um, but let me know in the comments what you guys feel, what you think about the, the um, collector core and uh, the, you know, Smarter's Bounty, the, the Funko Stop boxes. Do you think, are they too generic? Are they too stale? Yes, we're getting exclusives, which is nice, but it would be nice if they could really change it up a little bit and maybe put some other type of item in there as well. Um, 
I, I don't know if I would switch it out, like, I guess you're kind of, sometimes you get dorms, sometimes you get home editions, but, um, I don't know what they would do, because they're sticking to Funko items, that's the thing, so they only have so much they can do with the Funko items, I'm not sure, uh, just let me know what your, your, com your thoughts are on that in the comments below, uh, also provide any feedback, let me know what, uh, if you like the video, didn't like the video, whatever, anything, I don't care, uh, what you put down there, as long as it's, you know, positive and um, whatnot. Um, as always, please subscribe, uh, promote the, help us promote the channel. Uh, go ahead and thumbs up, thumbs down the video, whatever. Did you like it, did you not? Um, and quick note, we are still having the contest through to the end, till, until the end of the month. Uh, check out video 11 uh, for that. To, uh, so for when you subscribe because you will be entered into a contest for a giveaway for the Smuggler's Bounty from January. I will be giving a full box unopened. Everything's in the original packing and sealed uh, away as a prize. So look out for that as well. Uh, as always, I'm Hannikin. This has been an episode of Geek K. Uh, join us next time where we will be opening not really a new box. Uh, when I heard, when I, I upgraded my uh, subscription to the yearly subscription, so the next video that I put out is going to be an Avengers box because uh, I got to choose a random box that I didn't have before. Uh, so I'm gonna unbox that one for you guys and give my review and opinion of it. So look out for that video. Peace.